So how can we increase our height using the different methods that are available? Is there a possibility that you can increase your height once you have achieved your complete height after normal adult growth? So if, even if you are 22 years, 20, 30 years, even 40 years old, when your height gain has stopped, once you have to stop growing after a certain age, is there a possibility? Yes, there are a few procedures available. Uh, earlier, people used to use some hormones or something, but they always have some other side effects as well. It's not only, only your bones which grow to make you taller or longer, it's the other parts of your body also get affected by that. So that is why to make it into a controlled method, uh, to let you gain height by a controlled method, there is a surgical procedure. So now, first of all, let's understand what is the science behind it? What is the philosophy or science behind it? Uh, this method has been in use for n number of years, for more than 70, 75 years, this method has been in use because it was uh, first of all propagated by a Russian surgeon by the name of Gavril Elizarov. So in his name, this same uh, device or the fixator called Elizarov fixator has been used since uh, more than 70 years for various deformities, for uh, making uh, bone when there is a loss of bone segment in any of the any of the limbs uh, and correcting all sorts of deformities, making the limbs straighter, um, making the uh, twisted deformities into a straight one and then also into making new bone. So the philosophy of this uh, whole procedure depends on a procedure called distraction osteogenesis. So the whole idea is that this is your bone and if you make a controlled cut in the bone somewhere around here, which is the most vascular part of the bone, and then we uh, separate the two parts of the bone against each other at a controlled rate of one millimeter per day. So if you make them apart, get them apart by one millimeter per day by a device from outside, uh, which is a fixator, which can be of different kinds, then at that rate, when the bone gets separated after a cut in the bone, new bone comes and forms in its place. So if you are separating the bone or making it distracted by one millimeter every day, you are actually gaining one millimeter of new bone every day in its place. So that gap is getting filled up as we make the bone ends separate apart from each other. So now this same philosophy can be used for making the bone for as, as much as you want, but there is a limit to what you can do. So if we want to say uh, what is a safe limit of doing this, it could be anywhere from two to three inches in one bone. So two inches would mean five centimeters, three inches can go as long as 7.5 centimeters, but that's about it. That is the absolute limit up to which you can safely do. And as you do that at one millimeter per day, you can imagine it will take around one month for one inch of bone uh, distraction. And so if you have to go from two to three inches, it'll take around two to three months. So in three months, if you distract it at the rate of one millimeter every day, you can actually get a gap of three inches. And in there's those three inches of gap, new bone is getting formed every day, but it takes longer for that new bone to become strong enough so that you can take a device out. So what we essentially do is if we begin from the uh, starting point, this is the femur bone or the thigh bone. If you have to make a lengthening of around two to three inches in the thigh bone, we make a we apply a fixator from the outside, which goes in like this, three pins here, three pins here, and then three pins here. And from the outside, it is connected by a rod, which is called a monorail. So on that monorail, uh, there are certain clamps which can move and distract the fracture. So we create a fracture around here, there were, there's a clamp here, there's a three pins here, three pins here and three pins here. So there are uh, three different segments. You can selectively move the two segments apart by a distractor from outside. And that fracture that we have created keeps getting uh, separated and in its place, new bone is getting formed every day. So uh, if it takes around three months for get, uh, getting a length of around three inches, uh, it would take twice that amount. So another six months after that for that new bone to become strong enough so that you can take out the fixator and let the bone be like that and you can bear weight on it. So that is how long you would want, you would have to keep a fixator for around three inches of lengthening. You would have to keep it for around eight to nine months with that fixator on. 
now uh, there is another way in which you can shorten the length of the fixator because that is the machine which is from the outside and its only work, work is to distract the fracture or the corticotomy so that uh, fixator can be taken out earlier if you have uh, something inside the bone already which can provide stability once the fixator is out that is called an intramedullary nail so lengthening over nail is another procedure which we can do uh, very safely in which what we do is we put a rod inside the bone first of all we lock it proximally in the upper part we put a couple of screws through the nail and then we create a fracture here and apply a fixator from the outside the fixator would distract the fracture or the corticotomy get it to the appropriate length and when you've got the complete length you can uh, take out the fixator and at the same time you can lock the nail distally so there are screws which can go through the nail at the distal end of the nail also so that is what is another procedure uh, but it's a short procedure which gets you rid of the fixator uh, once the job of distraction is done so at around two to three months once you've gained enough height you can take out the fixator and there can be there will be nothing from the outside and that then the consolidation phase or the strengthening of the bone which has to happen later can happen on its own sweet pace and uh, you just have to wait for that to happen before you start putting full weight on that leg so uh, this these are the few things that uh, can describe how we do a limb lengthening procedure uh, there would be many other questions about it. You can get back to us for any other queries. Uh, there are many other uh, aspects of this surgery, of this procedure, which need to be discussed uh, before any patient commits to it because it, it is a long procedure. It needs a lot of patience from your side. There can be some hiccups on the way, but uh, uh, if we do it under guidance, everything should uh, come back nice. Thank you.